Yes, hey, yo, we're back. Yes, it's the Mary of Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic T Hedgehog. So, uh, how long before we start hearing the voice of the city? <laughs> uh, <laughs> what, what was Harry's other name he gave himself? Oh, uh, Tequila Sunset. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, oh, it was uh, like... Uh, oh, God. Something Ambrosius Cousteau. Was it Jacques Ambrosius Cousteau? Something like that? Oh... Uh... I don't know, but, but that's what I want to name ourselves, if we can. Hold on, hold on. I need to see... Raphael Ambrosius Cousteau. That was... that was his name. <laughs> Can we name ourselves Raphael? <laughs> That depends. Are we gonna whip out some size and like sit around in a sewer? Power panga. Order some pizza. Maybe. Hmm. All right, new game. You wake up feeling drunk. Oh god, the reptilian brain is back. <laughs> Hello there, baby. We're going to have another party, aren't we? <laughs> oh no, he's going to- Oh god, it's the limbic system. <laughs> uh, do you want to take whatever this guy is going uh, to be? Uh, okay. <laughs> Whew! Maybe I have a chain 15 minutes ahead of schedule. So far, so good. For my first day on the job. Oh, I totally forgot my name tag isn't together yet. I should make one. I'll just say. Oh, my this name is who here. we're supposed to be? I feel like a nerd. Uh I'm just gonna go with Wrath. Yeah, that's my name. Yeah. Actually, there we go. Yeah. Did you spell that right? No. Hold on. Hold on, I got a better idea. Okay. Uh, let me just double check the spelling of this. Okay, so that's how that's spelled. Will this fit? Cousteau! Yes! Much better. Cousteau. Did I spell it right? Yep, that's it. Hope passengers can read my scribble. He really does write poorly. I guess that's what happens when you listen to, you know, the reptilian brain. <laughs> the ancient reptilian brain. <gasps> the dining car. Ooh. Uh oh. Am I nervous? Is this the priest and the job jitters? No, this is the hangover from the night before. <laughs> 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 this is where we found out we drove our fucking car into a lake. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> working the working the train's dining car can't be so bad. Rock is so. Take it off. Oof. <clears throat> Gusto, did I, uh, just see you hit yourself? <laughs> Mr. Conductor, sir, how are you doing this morning? <laughs> Quite all right myself, though feeling a little bit sweet. Is everything all right? Well, truth be told, not really. You see, I think we ran someone over. <laughs> Alas, today, it's not that important, but instead, today's my last day as a conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, 
Congratulations on the retirement, sir! Oh, thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She's already got our plane tickets to Spagonia locked. Ah, but, uh, if you were curious, it's called the Mirage Express because every time we've murdered someone, the train has mysteriously disappeared. But I'm sure that won't happen this time, of course. No, oh, no, no, no. Hmm. Our show has been on the fritz, but, uh, so I'm a bit excited to use the hotels. <laughs> I see why his wife's excited. Enough of my squibble. Oh, that's, uh, yeah. Enough of my quills. Today's your first day working the dining car. Here's the menu for today. It just has I like see, I see inventory. <laughs> mysteriously blue furred meat. <laughs> uh. I can open the inventory to view items I received. Let's look over the menu carefully. Mirage Express's dining menu, a menu featuring, of course, a chili dog, instant ramen, and chicken cordon bleu. Ah, perfect I for a kisto. I love chicken cordon bleu. Yeah, you made a joke out of it at one point, if I recall. Yes. Ah, yes, ramen, chili dog. Why can't we combine chili dogs and ramen? It feels like a match made in heaven. Who wouldn't want to eat chili dog ramen? Delicious. The salt indicator would be off the charts and you would just immediately die. <laughs> the sodium intake would be exponential. Which is why uh, only cowards won't eat chili dog ramen. Why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. <laughs> Wait, how are you making... I'm disappointed then. Corn on blue in a microwave? Huh. Like the other two, fine. I mean, you could do better with the hot dogs, but still. Yeah. I don't know how to yeah. feel about quote unquote in the microwave. Though I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Which of these do we serve in the dining car? <gasps> Spicy grilled picky! Ooh. Crab Rangoon! Chicken corn on blue! Nah! We're too good for that. Spicy grilled picky, right? <laughs> that goes right in the microwave. Wait, wait, aren't pickies the small little birds? I'm actually not sure. No, no, th those are flickies. Oh, wait, also, I've just realized something. Chicken exists in the Sonic universe? Well, I know in Sonic... One or two, one of the Badnik bots was based on a chicken. Okay, but aren't you constantly saving little animals? In which case, now you're eating a chicken? Isn't the whole thing, like, save the animals and you're eating them now? But then again, Crab Rangoon. Uh, this is also true. However, I haven't seen a crab person in Sonic. I have seen a bird person in Sonic. Jet? He, he is a bird person, but there's like two others, I think, in the in that game. Oh, okay. Uh, there's like a girl one and like a big uh, beefy one. There huh. might be more, but those are the two, uh, the three that I'm remembering off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, there's bird people. Can't say I've seen crab people. Huh. I, I guess chicken cordon. Is it st I'm so disappointed that they didn't put down grilled pickle rings. <laughs> Golden grilled pickle rings. Come on, people. The you've got the shot here, all right? Those pickle rings will give you chaos energy. I, I, I could go for some fried pickles. Actually, golden onion rings would be better. I'm sorry. <gasps> that there, be was, there was one Sonic hack where you collected onion rings... But don't collect too much, or else Sonic will get so fat, he'll die of a heart attack. See, that's just disappointing. The real trick would be, every ring he kicks up, he slows down. Hmm. Ding, ding, ding! Glad you can read the menu okay. <laughs> Even if your handwriting is absolutely atrocious. Yeah, I know. A little about the vessel. In this. 
This is a state-of-the-art high-speed smart train with all the latest gadgets. Except for anything more than a microwave. Oh, don't, don't think we'd ever give you anything better than that. We couldn't trust you. In this train... Ah, this train can really handle anything you throw at it. Some might say it's a ghost train, but that's clearly not what's going on here. Anyway, we've had a lot of adventures today, me and this train. Uh, oh, uh, sorry. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. Some might say I cheat on my wife with it, but it's not easy to leave. Not like um, my wife! Oh. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Conductor, uh, I, I don't think she, she should be telling me this. Why? She's not in the train. Don't worry, girl. She's not here. It's just you and me. The boy can watch. After 32 years, I don't blame him for being wistful. This train really seemed like something special. <laughs> wistful or lustful? <laughs> <laughs> this train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. I remember that from the interview. Hey, um, what's the in event today? A murder mystery party! <laughs> Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as a conductor. Ah, but the real thrills will come after the event. When the guests are leave on their own with my party. My party for my train and me. Anyway, the guests will be funneled here, will be funneled here to the dining car as a home base, so to speak. It'll I'll be with you to gather tickets. But after that, you'll be on your own. So, I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure paying guests are all taken care of, you understand? I'll make you proud, sir. <laughs> oh, I'm glad this old man can rest easy. The doors to the Mirage Express are opening. All aboard! Ah, Shinkansen! Okay! Yeah! So, I like this. I don't know why she has a little cake on her headband. That's the weird part. Yeah? Wow! Oh, wait, hold on. Can I do, can I do better tales? <clears throat> wow! This train is incredible! What a fast, what fascinating tech! Oh man! <laughs> ah! What did Becky sound like? Oh. Uh, deep voiced <laughs> and grumbly. You like tails? Uh, I can get used to see them. You like tails? I can see. I can get used <laughs> to see on a train like this. God damn it! Oh. Uh, you want to try, Amy? Okay, fine, because I usually get female characters. I was going to say, if you want to take Amy, I'll take Rouge, because I saw that she's on the title screen. Oh, okay, um... What did you expect? Uh, you know how... You you know how... Why can't I read tonight? Um, I don't know. You, you know I always go all out for my birthday party. Well, that explains the birthday cake on her headband, kind of. Still think it's a weird choice, but fine. Understandable. Birthday girl. Got it. This train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything, though. Calm down there, Rouge. Did I not catch you stealing from the train station? Did I not just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? Damn it. It was a pen, knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a tiny little pen? What a cast of ca what cast of characters am I stuck with? You're in the wrong game, buddy. <laughs> you wanted Mario. He's down the way. You know, if you wouldn't have jumped in for Knuckles, I would have given him an over-the-top Australian accent. Yeah, no, I'm glad I jumped in, man. I saved myself <laughs> the pain. Get a hold of yourself, Cousteau. You're sweating through your uniform. Hey, pal! Can I get one of those chili dogs? Um, maybe I'm friends! Well, aren't you friendly? I'm gonna be dead soon. <laughs> Why can't I be normal for one second? 
Sonic. Wait until I announce everyone's results to get food. In response to your, uh, your why can't I be normal. It's because you're insane. <laughs> your wife left you. But don't think about her. <laughs> Sorry about that birthday, girl. God, why am I talking to you? I should be running the fuck away. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me, Custero, won't you? Just click whoever you'd like to talk with, and we'll collect their tickets as well as their um, souls. Sir, what? What do you mean, click? Ah, yes. That is the technical term for collecting, is clicking. Ah, oh, got it! I mean, you're playing the main character. Who do we start with? Uh, uh let's go... Man, Shadow doesn't look edgy at all here. The cat... Who's the cat? Um, Blaze. Blaze. Okay, I... Um... We know let's, let's, oh, we can shift, let's, okay. Yeah, let's just go left to right. So, uh, Knuckles first? Yep. Sorry, I'm just noticing, like, is that Amy's mom on the picture? <laughs> oh, could I please get your ticket? I think that's a ticket. But I really don't want to argue with this guy. He looks like he might punch me in the face. Yeah, he's got spikes on his gloves. And then say, crikey, and then blame me. Everything looks good. Thank you. Cousteau, why are you talking in your brain again? <laughs> Seems like the conductor doesn't want to argue either. And damn it, it's like he can read my mind. <laughs> Could I get your ticket, youngin? Right here, sir! Thank you. Any apple, any, any snacks that we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt any jagged, jaded heart. No way! I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me, too! It's my first day, and I was a little nervous. Don't be nervous. We're going to... No, we're, you're, you're doing great so far. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. <laughs> Absolutely. If you need anything, just let us know. I heard that somebody on this train is normal. Tickets, please. Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself on board. Huh? Don't worry about it. I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst. But my kids swore you would swoop in eventually, and that you did. I can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Couldn't even offer you a free ticket to the train! <laughs> I need that money, believe me. My wife would kill me if I didn't have it. God, I can't wait for that vacation. With the train. But not my wife. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second. Is he... Is he... Is he the Sonic the Hedgehog? What other blue hedgehog have you ever seen, Cousteau? No, I promise you an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Have a fun. Have fun now. Yeah, just have f -f -f fun now. Will do. Thanks. But get on those chili dogs. I'm hungry. And make sure you got like, I don't know, a couple hundred. I'm gonna go through them real fast. Uh, SBO, I guess. Yes. Could we please see your tickets? Of course. Excellent. Thank you. I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely. I appreciate it. 
There's a calmness about him. Something about his presence puts me at ease. You consider me calming? Oh, see? Somebody else is reading your head, reading your mind. He, he's looking right at me! I study ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Oh, does that mean you can make clothes of yourself? Oh, oh, it's adorable. You should be in an orange jumpsuit or something. What? Wow, ninjutsu! That sounds like a lot of difficult training! Can you cling to walls? Cling to walls? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can, Conductor. Ah, reptile. I was about to say, is that because of ninjutsu, or is that because you're a fucking chameleon? The Conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. I can see what you're thinking, Cousteau, and shut it before I kick you out of this train. Hello, my friend. Can I get your tickets? Oh, yeah, sure. Of course. And as a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. I'd love to know what those red stains on your apron are, because it's making me very suspicious about why we're letting you on my train. Don't worry, sir. It's definitely not blood. It's marinara sauce. I was making pasta earlier. It's totally not blood. He, he seemed to be avoiding eye contact. <laughs> ah, I see. You must have visited the marinara trench before coming here. <laughs> There's something amiss, sir. I see Could you speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear you. Oh, I misplaced my ticket! I don't know where it is! <laughs> He's certainly not hiding his embarrassment very well. Don't you worry. We'll take a look around for you and see if it turns up. Oh, that would be amazing! Thanks a million! Seems that we, we should keep our eyes peeled for his ticket. Ah, so it's Where's Waldo, but with tickets. Hmm. Could I please get the birthday girl's ticket? <laughs> Why, certainly. Ah, thank you, miss. And thank you for choosing our fine train. My lovely, lovely train. For, for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who, who doesn't love a good bargain? And it made a mystery train just sounds so exciting! It's right up my alley! Who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm, I'm a girl who loves a good, good true crime podcast. Oh, for fuck's sake, she's one of those people! How to murder my boyfriend.exe. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Is it how to murder my boyfriend.exe or how to murder my boyfriend.exe? Is he murdering the boyfriend.exe file? Nah, nah, that's the uh that's the uh that's the file to play that will then get you all of the true crime podcasts on how to get all of the uh uh Insurance money for killing your boyfriend. Ah. Uh, Clearly. Maybe we should leave it to her fun. Before we move along. Before we move along, for you, miss. Oh, how fun! Thank you! Where do I use this? That unlocks any door in the train. Happy birthday. Except for my personal port. You don't want to be over there, trust me. I haven't cleaned it in a while. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's practically tradition. And how do I know this? It's my it's my first day on the job. I was about to say, how does he know this? Very useful. We'll use this wisely. Thank you. Now here's my question, right? Assuming that we do get control at some point with this murder mystery, is it a one-time use key? Hmm. 
Okay, I forgot, I didn't even realize Blaze was in here. Uh, here. Thank you. Everything is in order. Did you say about something? Is there anything we can help you with? Mm. Do you sell any gift bags here? Uh, oh, no, sadly. But I can give you a plastic grocery bag in the back. I, but I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I could get for you. Mm. That's there for her. So cold. Cousteau, you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch you your jacket? Or maybe I should throw you in the fire. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Ooh. I don't even remember what Blaze sounds like. Whoops. May I have your ticket, please? Thank you very much. On top of it, I see. A princess such as myself should always be punctual. I had no idea she was a princess. P princess? D did she say P princess? If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. Oh, wait, wasn't... Wasn't she in Sonic 06 as part of the future? Mm, I think she was in that, but I know she, I think, I don't know my whole, like, mid-tier like, Sonic lore from, like, the middle of the game series, but I think she may have been in Sonic Rival. I have no idea what was in Sonic Rivals, so I have no nothing to say on that matter. I, I I think that was the first game she showed up where you could play as Sonic or Blaze. First, uh, first time. The, the first time I saw her was in 06. Now, granted, that was watching other people play it, but, you know, that was about the time I had stopped playing Sonic. <laughs> So I, I don't actually know where she's what she's about, other than that she's a cat and she's purple. A, a separate what? Just here for Amy's birthday, and then I'll just pop back into my own dimension. I prefer the birth I quite prefer, prefer birthday cake from this world more than my own, so I admit I'm a bit excited. They had this thing called crack cocaine to it. It's just, it's the, it's so divine. <laughs> Can't find any of that shit in my world. <laughs> no, you don't say. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. Do I bow? Do, do I bow before a princess? What are you doing? Please get up. Why can I not win with this group? Hey, you won with Tails. Yeah. As disappointing as that is to say, you did win with Tails. Oh, and it was Sonic Rush she first appeared in. Wasn't that the boxing game? No, was that Sonic. was Sonic the Fighters. Oh, uh, okay. So, and Sonic Rush came out for 06. So... I was right with the fact 06 wasn't her first game, just she had the wrong name. Hmm. Well, hello, oh, you wait. two. What can I do for there you? There was a Sonic Rivals that came out after 06. Okay. Never mind. <clears throat> Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? My, my. How forward. Let me fetch it for you. Come back if you need anything else, you hear? Wow, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. Suddenly you just see her flash your wallet in front of you. This was real easy to get. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, I saw I saw you sneak a tw that $20 bill out of my pocket. Ah! <laughs> Perfect! Wasn't quite, uh, wasn't honestly expecting them to go there, but nice. <clears throat> Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. 
I'm gonna have to kindly ask you for that back. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, it was yours. It must have slipped out. Here you go. I may not actually be best at judging character. Turns out, she actually stole a hundred dollars, but you only saw one of the twenties, so that way you thought you got the win. Alright, now, uh, do we see a ticket laying anywhere? Uh, I saw one of the compartments is selectable. Welcome aboard the Mirage Express. Hmm, yummy! Don't mind if I do! Cousteau! Those are for the guests, you know. Train, be sure Kostu only gets one of those if they ask. Ellipses. Did the did did the arm just kind of nod? Uh, actually, Train, the conductor wants me to have the whole plate. <laughs> Good try, young buck. The train and I have worked together for a long time. Really worked, you know? You, have, you don't want to know what that hand has done. You'll have to work harder than you get than that to get what you want. Believe me, I had to work very hard to get it to do everything I wanted. Yeah! Those snacks were pretty tasty, too. <laughs> uh, so, um, uh, next time oh, I on found it. I found the Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Looks like we found the ticket. So, um, onward to the murder mystery, I guess. Uh, we'll see if that happens or not in the next, uh, next part. Maybe, maybe it'll just be talking some more.